Sean McCahey was born in Ochnacloy, County Tyrone on June 8, 1915. The McCahey family moved to Ardoin when Sean was just five years old. Sean McCahey's burning sense of patriotism defined every aspect of his youth. He was a cultural activist and played for Ardoin Kykums and McKelvey's CLG. He joined the Henry Joy McCracken Slua of Nafina Aaron, pledging to serve his nation in the shadow of Cave Hill. A dedicated Fina oozing a capability beyond his years, he always impressed his peers and was soon recommended for service in the ranks of what was then known as the Belfast Battalion Irish Republican Army. As an IRA volunteer, his remarkable ability propelled him to the position of Unit OC, where he assumed responsibility for the Ardoin units of Ogley and Naharan. Thereafter, Sean was appointed to the battalion staff. Not resting on his laurels meant he was soon co-opted on to join the IRA GHQ. Sean McCahey continued to shine as an inspirational IRA volunteer, and following a term as Northern Command OC, he was then elevated to the position of Adjutant General of the IRA. The journey Sean McCahey traveled from Nafina and Ardoin to being appointed Adjutant General of the entire IRA is a remarkable example of how humility and belief lead to success in this struggle. Sean McCahey never relinquished his position as a volunteer. He was always operational, and because he refused to rest on his laurels or believe for a second he had more important work to do as an officer than he had to commit in the daily grind of a volunteer, he exhibited a humility beyond manhood that laced with a unique and unrelenting belief. His journey inspires an unfathomable confidence in our capabilities as separatists. Sean McCahey's expression of his birthright when combined with his prowess as a soldier, produced a genuine hero that we should all aspire to emulate. While conducting his duties as a Jundan General, the then Chief of Staff of the IRA, Stephen Hayes, was exposed as an informer. Hayes was then immediately placed under court-martial orders. Sean McCahey, who had risen from the ranks of the Ardoin IRA, now assumed the position of Chief of Staff of the entire Army. He was to hold this position throughout the duration of the Army's investigation into the Stephen Hayes affair. Following the investigation into informer Stephen Hayes, Sean McCahey, by now Chief of Staff, once again refused to relinquish his duty as a volunteer. He was arrested by Free Staters and charged with the unlawful detention of informer Stephen Hayes. Although a charge of this nature would usually receive a sentence of six months, Sean McCahey was sentenced to death by a military tribunal. After a public outcry, his sentence was commuted to a life of penal servitude in Port Leash Jail. Sean McCahey refused to live as anything other than the Republican he most certainly was. For a period of four years and nine months, he was held in the most terrible conditions, naked and tortured in solitary confinement by a hateful and hostile Port Leash administration. Finally, after almost five years of depraved, torturous brutality, Sean McCahey embarked on a hunger strike on April 19, 1946. After 16 days, Sean went on thirst strike. He joined the ranks of the martyred dead on the morning of Saturday, May 11, 1946. There was international condemnation on the free state following the death of Sean McCahey. The details of the conditions he had been forced to endure sent a shockwave across the world. Of all the prison struggles fought for this nation, the war Sean McCahey fought alone in Port Leash Jail in the 1940s surely stands out as one of the most brutally harrowing accounts of prison struggle thus far. His remains were taken through the thronged streets of Dublin on the route home to his beloved Ardoin for the Requery Mass in Holy Cross Church. Thousands of mourners line the streets for this martyred hero. A volunteer of such resilient strength and unshakable belief that even the isolation, torture, loneliness, and hatred he endured in Port Leash Jail at the time when the IRA was going through a difficult phase could neither dent the faith he had in his people nor the confidence he had in his comrades at home. He never questioned for a moment his duty. Sean McCahey fought British rule in Ireland, north and south. As he lived and as he died, he fought them harder still. His greatest gift to this nation is the strength of his memory, an inspiration to all Republicans that tells us there is no darkness, confined or not, that is the faithful being's vision of freedom, cannot dispel and mold into light. The faith Sean McCahey had placed in Republican people of our doing as he lay dying in agony in Port Leash Jail was returned to him and confirmed by those people gathering by the thousands to respectfully file past the remains of their neighbor and their hero. 
The men of the Belfast Battalion who had built the spirit of comradeship that returned to chase out the loneliness in the isolation of solitary confinement returned again to this patriot side, and now once more in the shadow of Cave Hill, they marched their fallen comrade into Milltown Cemetery for burial with full IRA honors. Sean McCahey, hunger strike martyr, was interred in Milltown Cemetery, and just as he lived, he continues to rest as an IRA volunteer and an inspiration to us all. We salute you, Sean McCahey, Republican Integrity.